Hello, in this video we will go over the software interface and understand how everything is laid out on the software for you to be more efficient and knowing what kind of options you can change while you use Automation Studio. So this is the way the software should open the first time that you open the application. Here is your actual page where you will work on your drawing. If you have decided to change the page layout to eight and a half landscape or portrait, you will actually see your sheet on the screen as you design your schematic. On top here we have a quick access bar which can be configured as you want. If you click here on this arrow, you go to more commands and from here you can select from any of the tab the different options that you want to add to this quick access bar. Okay. Now if we go into the windows that are open by default, on the left here you see that you have the libraries that are included in your package. The hydraulic, proportional hydraulic, pneumatic, proportional pneumatic, electrical control. Yeah, we have the JIC and the IEC standard for the North American and European standard. The logic gates, PLC for Allen Bradley Siemens and IEC standard, an IO interface box which enables you to trigger 24 volt DC hardware equipment directly with Automation Studio. The electrotechnical again IEC and NEMA standard for creating AC and DC circuits. The one line diagram again with both standard and the HMI and control panel. Also at the bottom, if you click on hydraulic, you can see the components that are inserted in the library just to make it more easy and quick for the user. On the right side, we have the Project Explorer, where you can actually visualize the diagrams that you have in your project. Keep in mind that you can have up to 10 diagrams per project in Automation Studio. For instance, if we come here and we right click on Project 1 and we say New Document, we can choose a different template, we'll take none. And as you can see now, we have two diagrams in our project, which if you want, you can go into the View tab, View, and then we have here Vertical Tile for the documents. If I click here, I will now see both documents, one beside the other. Keep in mind that you could design, for instance, your hydraulic schematic in this window, the electrical diagram in this window, and they can both interact together. So you can put them on the same diagram or two different diagram if you want. So now let's go back and I'm going to delete now this diagram just to go come back and only have one, which I can double click on the toolbar here, which will maximize the window. We also have a message window here that you can see at the bottom. Message Explorer. This will record all the events that you do in the software. Let's clear the events. And it will also help you if you have a schematic that behaves a way that it should not for any reason, please refer to this message window. It will give you good information. For example, if I take a four three way directional valve and I drop it on the drawing, if I start my simulation not being connected, if I stop the simulation now, if I go to the message window, it's going to tell me that warning, component H1 isn't properly connected. Which one is this component? If you click on this, it will bring you to the right component. So this window is always there, always open, it will roll down. But if you need it, you can just refer to it for more information. Now let's review the toolbars. So let's go to Ohm, which is the main one, where we have creating a new projects. Uh, we also have the Library Explorer, Catalog Manager. We have Reference, BOM, History of the Drawing. We have here the possibility of creating direct link for some purpose. We can edit here the precision of the guide and also of the drawing. As you can see when I hover some of the components, I can have a very nice description of what this icon is for. 
So here we have our CAD feature, which enables you to draw some shapes on your drawing to make it more interesting for students. We can insert text, we can insert pictures, and also field in order to create your custom title blocks. We can also insert link to other document which could be outside of Automation Studio. We will review those in a video later on called Insert Links and Image Videos and Worldwide uh, Web Links on Components. Okay. If we go now to the Edit menu, here is to change parameters on your drawing lines. Uh, if I go at say for Ohm, I'm going to just draw a if I go back to edit, and when I select this component, you see I can now change the thickness of the line and the color also. Okay, I can click on this component and choose a fill pattern that I want. As if I take this pattern here, then I can change also the color of my pattern. Okay, so all these changes will make directly here. You can also rotate the component and this applies to also symbols that you'll find in the library we have an alignment tool if I let's say duplicate components keep in mind that automation studio is a windows based application therefore all the shortcuts you see if I right click on this component copy then I just right click again and do paste or I can simply click on control button and while I drag it, I will automatically make a copy of the component. So let's erase that one. You can select all these elements. And then when you go to align, you can choose to align them all to the top. And then if you go to distribute, you can say, let's put the same space between them. Now they're perfectly aligned. Okay, so this is what this tool is for. We also have layers. So here you can manage up to eight layers into a diagram. So for instance, you can put like a title block, a bill of material on a different layer from which the students will design on. This way they cannot modify it or change it. It will always be there. And once you print your diagram, it will look very professional. In the view tab, it's basically uh, some of the features that we have to view port names, view grid, view contact points, rulers, uh, component tooltip. We will review that in a later video as well because in the tooltip you will actually see links that you make to outside documents. Here we have the zoom which offers multiple options. For instance, if I have different components like that on my drawing, I can zoom all components. I can go back and zoom my entire page. Or I can just zoom a section which I decide to zoom on like that. Also, like I said before, it's a Windows based application so you can hold the control key down of your keyboard and when you roll the mouse, the wheel on your mouse, you will zoom in and zoom out and you see it will zoom in where I point my cursor on my drawing. Okay. In here is actually to display the windows if you have more than one diagram in your project like we did before. You can do vertical tile, horizontal tile. Simulation tab. We have the simulation normal speed. We have the step by step, which click of the mouse will make the simulation increase. Or slow motion, which can also be configured into the options. We have the simulation option, which enable you to actually turn on temperature simulation or uh, pressure loss into lines. You can trigger those directly from here. The plotter. It enables you to trace some lines of the simulation as it goes over time. Pressure, flow, uh, peaks of pressure, everything will be there. Again, we have a video specifically for the plotter. Here we have dynamic measuring instrument, which enables you to insert measuring tool on your drawing while you simulate to visualize pressure flow or differential pressure. Let me just erase these components now. And here we have the troubleshooting and also measuring instrument that while you do a schematic, they will be turned on automatically for you to analyze your drawing. 
We will review those also in a future video called Failure and Troubleshooting. Now if we go to the Fluid tab, we can also manage the Fluid and Line Manager where we can decide which type of oil we will be using for that specific drawing and also the line that we're using. So we can set the default line to a specific diameter and internal roughness also to calculate the pressure loss. We have here a mechanism manager that you can be accessed from this window. Also, we have a video that explains how the mechanism manager works. If we go into the tool tab, we have all kinds of other uh, tools that we can display, uh, sizing sheets manager. We have the variable manager, which display all the variables on your drawing. But again, when you're over these elements, you will actually have a very nice description of what it does. We also have the possibility of recording a video of what you're doing on Automation Studio. This video can record the entire interface or only the working space. And these videos are MP4 format, which can be open within a PowerPoint, for instance, or just put online. And here is the actual license manager, which gives you all the information on your particular license. Thank you for your time, and I invite you to watch the other training videos. Thank you.